Hey guys, today we're checking out three of the coolest video editing apps to recently hit the App Store. They are Dizzy, Beat Leap, and Story Beat. What do these three apps have in common? They all claim that they'll take your photos or videos and edit them to the beat of a music track. Now, editing to music is a pretty fundamental technique in editing. I mean, people have been doing this forever, but to do it on your phone in an app can be really challenging. So to have apps that are automatically doing this for you is pretty amazing. But which one reigns supreme? We're about to find out. Let's start with the Dizzy app. Now, the Dizzy app comes with a lot of different plans, starting at $2.99 for a week and going all the way up to $69.99 yearly for Dizzy Premium. All right, so when you open the Dizzy app, it does have a lot of really cool different effects. So in general, I do like this app, but let's skip right to the beat cut because that's the feature we're gonna be checking out. And it opens right up to my recent photos and videos. Now, in preparation for this video, I recorded myself making our Sunday night dinner. And so I'm gonna select a sequence of shots to kind of give a really quick look at how I made my dinner. And I'm going to select them in the sequence in which I want them to appear in my video. Okay, and then at the bottom, I can choose my video length. So it gives you 10 seconds for like a Snapchat video, 15 seconds for a story, 30 seconds or 45 seconds for a feed, a minute long for a reel, and then you can even do the full audio track. I'm going to select 30 seconds. All right, let's hit next at the top of the screen. And then it offers me a whole bunch of music cuts that have been licensed for me through the app, which is nice. Or I can select my own music from let's say iTunes, but I don't wanna get a copyright claim. So I am just going to use their library and pick something out of this. I actually really like this first cut. It has a great beat. And when you're trying to edit to music, you definitely wanna pick a cut with a really strong beat. That's kind of the magic of the effect. All right, so I'm gonna hit the plus sign to add that. Now I can pick which part of the track I want. Remember, I selected a 30 second edit, so I can pick a 30 second window from this clip. I'm just gonna start it at the beginning and hit next. And now it's exporting my video. Okay, what I'm noticing about this is that all my shots are out of order. Like I was trying to build a sequence and I'm not clear on how I go about reordering my clips. It doesn't really seem intuitive to do that. Part of the fundamentals of this type of editing is being able to choose my shot order. I'm very surprised that it randomized it. I can add these other effects that sync with the music. So here's this one called Bass Boost. I actually think this one's really cool. All right, let's head up to the Effects tab, and I can also add some effects to the video clip. One thing I'm noticing about this app is that if I wanna add these effects, I have to go ahead and export the video all again, and it really takes a long time to process without being able to preview what the effect is going to be. So I'm not really a big fan of that, I have to say. I feel like this is kind of, time consuming and until you've really gotten to know the app and you know what all these effects are because you've applied them all, it, this is like a very like tedious process. All right, I don't like that effect I added. I'm just gonna stick with that beat sync effect we applied before. Oh my goodness. Every time you wanna change the effect setting, you have to go back through this export process. I'm not a fan of this, I have to say. All right, I think this is good. I'm going to export this version and it has been saved to my photos. The next app we're gonna try is called Beat Leap. This is from Light Tricks, and they have a whole series of really cool video editing apps, so I'm super excited to try this one. The price on this one is $4.99 a month if you go for the yearly commitment. 
Um, monthly is $9.99 a month and one-time purchase of almost $200. All right, so let's start a new video here by hitting that green plus sign. And again, I'm going to try to do that cooking sequence that we didn't have so much success with with the Dizzy app. Again, I'm going to, oh look, see, already when I selected my first clip, it is showing me my custom order. I love this. So I'm going to go through and choose my custom order. Let's hit next. And again, there's already music that has been licensed for us. While I'm listening to these cuts of music, if you like this video, if you think it's fun, let me know. Give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell. I like this option called Freeze. It has a really good beat, and that's definitely what I'm looking for. What I noticed right away is it didn't get through all of my shots, which is kind of weird because it let me pick a whole bunch of shots, but it didn't show them all. All right, let's look at some of these options down below and see what they do. I'm gonna select fast cut. All right, I've gotten these two orange circles on my timeline here. What do they do? Oh, weird, it shows random shots out of sequence. And I can add more of these dots by selecting that fast cut button again. All right, let's pick something else. Ooh, zoom, what does this do? So this is adding some interesting like pulse beats to our video. What if I add a whole bunch more by turning that all the way up? I love that. I think that just looks really, really cool. And it does definitely go to the music. What I am noticing though, is that I'm not using parts of the shots that I personally would want to use. Um, like for instance, like the maybe the first, you know, half second of a shot is what's being shown in my video when I really wanna see further into the clip. Let me see if I can remedy that. So right now I'm on edit. What if I hit tools? Okay, and there's a tweak. Oh, okay, great. I can section the exact part of the clip that I want by hitting the highlight button. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I love this. And I see I can actually even change that duration. So where I was missing shots. Yes, now I can see more of my shots. There we go. So I had to change the duration of my video for the number of clips that I had. That's good to know. And let's play it back and see how we like it. You in the mood, I running, came up, gun and stop the frame on your words. What you hear, not what you heard. I'ma hang on every verb. I'ma show you what it's worth. Every day I'm on the earth till they put me in a dirt. I'ma get into it first. Said I'ma get into it first. Until they put me in a dirt. Said I'ma get into it first. Said I'ma get into it. And the last app we're going to check out is called Story Beat. This one is $3.99 monthly or $30.99 yearly. All right, here we are in Story Beat. I'm going to hit this plus sign at the bottom to start a new project. Let's create a trend. Let's select our song. So we're just going to tap in the middle of the screen to load the music. And let's have a listen to some of these songs. All right, that seems like a good option. I'm gonna hit the plus sign to add it. Now I can choose the segment of the song I wanna use, but I can only select a 15 second increment. Interesting. All right, now it's telling me to tap on the screen to start and follow the music rhythm. Each tap will create a placeholder to add a photo later on. So I guess what this means is as I tap my finger, I'm going to be telling the app where to change to the next, well, it says photo. Can I not do this with videos? Interesting. Okay, so let's do it. I'm gonna tap the screen to start and then I'm gonna tap the screen at every beat where I wanna change shots.
Okay, I've done that. I can see all my little markers there. Let's hit the check mark. And I guess we're gonna have to go back to select photos. It's not showing me any videos. That's actually really disappointing. This is just random photos from my merch shoot that we took with my phone. So I guess I need 24 marks in my music. So Storybeat is telling me I need 24 images. Let's create this trend. I'm not really crazy about this at all. And I can add a sticker to it as well, I guess. Okay, let's just share this video. Video, it's only still photos. And the app crashed on me. It crashed. Ugh. Okay, I think I've seen enough to render a verdict. Obviously, Beat Leap is definitely the hands down winner for this type of mobile video editing. I really love that I could custom select the order of my shots. I loved that I could select the exact part of the shot that I could use in my video. And I just loved a lot of those really cool bounce effect, zoom in effects. I just think that Beat Leap hands down for this type of editing is definitely the winner. In second place is the Dizzy app. I couldn't stand that I couldn't choose the order of my videos. To me, that's wild. I mean, that's very basic video editing is choosing your shot order. That's the first thing you need to do for video editing. So for me, that was a huge fail. Um, and otherwise, what I didn't like about it was how long it took to apply an effect to a video clip before you could even decide if you liked it. Just to preview it just took forever. So this is definitely not a fast process on Dizzy, though I will say that Dizzy does a lot of other cool things as well. So, you know, maybe you're getting a little bit more for your buck with Dizzy, but if you're really trying to edit to music, Beat Leap is for sure the way to go. And then let's talk about Story Beat. What I didn't love about it was that I couldn't select videos for my video, which was really disappointing. I did like how I could custom you know, select where the cut points would be for my video by tapping on the screen. To me, technologically, that is an awesome feature and is actually very similar to how I edit music in Final Cut Pro, which is the pro app that I use to edit my professional videos. So I did like that a lot, but otherwise Story Beat was just mm, not good. And then of course at the end, the app crashed. What a dud, ugh, terrible. So anyway, if you're interested in this type of video editing, I have to recommend Beat Leap. Um, it's in the app store. I don't have an affiliate link or anything. I just think it's pretty cool. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Are there other apps you want me to look at? Let me know in the comments. I picked out some other videos I know you're going to love and I will see you again.